Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be going over some jewelry. Yes, there's a lot of nice jewelry in Diablo 2. And this one in particular is Atma's Scarab. Atma's Scarab is um, quite an interesting little piece. Um, it has some interesting effects on it and uh, while it doesn't have any plus to skills, um, it does have quite a few other interesting pieces, and it also is part of a couple themed items that are within the game. Uh, most notably, um, Atmos Scarab, there is also Atmos Whale, and so forth and so on, that basically all carry Atmos' name. And uh, if you don't know who Atma is, Atma is the, um, the bartender in Act 2 who, well, you know, lost her husband to uh, the evil... Uh, monster Radiment, who cut him up into pieces and turned him into a half, well, one-third cow, one-third person, one-third wolf monster. Um, this is Atma right here, and we might as well talk to her since we're talking about her particular items. Until this plague of evil. Luckily, I've managed to save away a tidy nest egg. Unfortunately, I couldn't save everything I cared for. And uh, if you go and you talk to um, Lysander, Lysander has uh, a gossip about specific people. And uh, one of the things he says is that, uh, and it's kind of funny to me because uh, he always talks about how he has a potion that can cure anything. He goes, I got a potion that can cure anything. And then one day you talk to him about Atma and he goes, he goes, I wish I had a potion to, uh, to cure Atma. He goes, but nothing, none of my potions will make her feel better, you know, or something along those lines. And I always thought that was a really uh, kind of an interesting line for him. So anyway, let's get into the item, shall we? Uh, so Atma's Scarab. Uh, what is special about this particular amulet? I always love the sound effects that the amulet's made. I always, you always know when an amulet drops long before you ever see it. It drops off screen and you just hear... You're like, oh, amulet! Mm. I'm stupid. So we've got a 5% chance to cast level 2 Amplify Damage on Striking. Uh, so what is Amplify Damage? Well, if you've never played before, you don't know, so I'm going to explain it for those people who might be new. Amplify Damage is a negative resistance to physical damage of 100%, uh, which means that if a monster, for instance, has 50% resistance to physical and you curse them, they will be at negative 50%. If they have 0% resistance to physical, they will be at negative 100%. Um, they cannot go below negative 100%. But uh, it is a pretty nice boon in damage to anyone that deals physical damage. You can also break immunities with Amplify Damage, which is one of the amazing things about Amp. Uh, so, for instance, let's say you had a monster who was 110% uh, uh, physical uh, immune. Um, this would make it relatively difficult to kill them. Well, if you curse them with a Amplify Damage ability, um, you will reduce them by 20% uh, versus an immune, which means that 110% immune monster will go down to 90%, which is not bad. Um, then you will actually still be able to dish damage out though, to them with physical damage. Um, and this is why Atmos Scarab is, uh, is sought after, is because it does give you the Amplify Damage proc. Um, it also has a 20% bonus to attack rating, which as you can see by my whirlwind attack rating here of 7,119. When I put on the amulet, I get a nice healthy chunk of extra attack rating. And any attack rating that you bring into this character, whether it be by charms, whether it be by rings or amulets, will get multiplied by this 20%. So keep that in mind. We also get a nice little 40 poison damage bonus over 4 seconds, uh, which isn't the greatest in the world, but it's extra damage, and I rarely ever turn down extra damage. We get poison resist 75%, which is a massive amount of poison resistance, and uh, certainly could come in handy in certain situations. Uh, one in particular, right off the top of my head, is uh, when you fight Lilith in, uh, in Matron's Den. Uh, Lilith has probably the most ridiculous poison that has ever existed, and, uh, and if you're fighting her without 75% poison resistance, at bare minimum, you're going to have a bad day. Uh, we've got attacker takes damage of 5, which is not really a good thing, and uh, plus 3 to light radius. So what's so special about this amulet? Well, really the only special thing about Atma Scarab is that Amplify Damage. Um, the more Amplify Damage you have, the more procs, the more chances, uh, the faster your attacks, uh, so forth and so on, you can actually utilize 
this amplify damage to your benefit. Um, if you are a character that makes any kind of striking attack, whether it be ranged or melee, um, this can come in handy. And um, and the other thing to keep in mind is it is a relatively low level of amplify damage. And um, the only thing that really increases with uh, level in amplify damage is the duration and the radius. So at level 2, we're looking at a 2.6 yard radius, which is really small, and uh, a duration of 11 seconds, which isn't too terrible. So if we were to use this on, um, say for instance, a, a shapeshifter druid, or a paladin, uh, or a barbarian, uh, we could benefit from the amplify damage effect. Uh, the only problem is, is that there are certain things that do not count for on striking. Um, and this is... Uh, a lot of things. Um, one in particular right now that I can show you is Whirlwind. Whirlwind does not proc effects. So despite the fact that I would have Atmosphere on, when I go into a game and I try to proc these effects, um, you will notice that it does not happen. Um, and, uh, and this is unfortunate, so you do have to keep this in mind when you think about whether or not you would like to use Atmoscarab, because without a, a, a skill that actually procs the effect, it's no good. Uh, however, if I am to switch over to Concentrate, Concentrate will actually proc the effect. And um, unfortunately, with such a low percent chance of 5%, uh, you will probably not see it that often. And this is where um, other things come into effect. So for instance, if I want to use this Atmoscara with the relatively low percent chance, I'm probably going to have to increase the speed at which I attack. So attacking very slow with big hits is probably not going to be a good idea. Which means that Atmoscarab tends to be a good item for characters that attack very quickly. Like for instance, uh, Frenzy Barbarians, Fury Druids. Um, if you are a, uh, a Throw Barbarian, it would probably work fairly good for you. Uh, double Swing Barbarian. Um, you could also theoretically put this on a... Um, a Blade Fury Assassin. Blade Fury Assassins do actually proc striking effects, but it is important to note that Blade Fury Assassins do not proc on attack effects. Um, a Strafe Amazon could get very use, good use out of this because Strafe does attack very quickly and uh, does proc striking effects. Um, strafe also does not proc on attack effects. I uh, found this out just the other day. <laughs> Always learning something new about this game. It's what I love about it. Uh, now, when it comes to uh, Amplify Damage, it's only useful to characters that deal lots of physical damage. Um, so if you are a character who is highly physical in nature, Atmosphere may be a very good choice for you. Um, there are other choices, though. You could get, for instance, a um, an item that gives Decrepify. Uh, Lawbringer comes to mind. Uh, also, the... Um, Unique Thresher, Reaper's Toll has Decrepify. Um, Witch Wild String has a chance to proc Amplify Damage, and it can be put on a Rogue Merc for uh, chances for Amp. Um, you could have a bunch of different ways to try and get yourself uh, procking effects for Amplify Damage. Amplify Damage also pro uh, spawns on random items. So if you are careful and you look as you go throughout the world, you may find a rare, for instance, um, Thresher. And you identify the rare thresher, and it has an amplified damage proc on it with decent damage, and it can be a very good source of amplified damage for your mercenary. Um, the relatively low level on this uh, amplified damage and the relatively low percent chance to cast it does make it um, more of an item that needs to be on someone that attacks quickly. If you're not attacking very quickly, you're not going to be proccing it very often, and if you're not proccing it very often, it's not going to be very useful to you. You're giving up a lot by using this in this slot. And just to give you an idea, I have here two other amulets which are very good um, for this slot that you might consider otherwise. So Atmoscarab gives you the amp damage bonus, but not a whole lot else. Uh, High Lord's Wrath gives you plus one to skills and increased attack speed as well as deadly strike, uh, lightning resistance. And then Mars Kaleidoscope gives you plus two to all skills with all resistances 30. Um, so when you think about whether or not you're going to put on at Mascarab, you have to also consider what else could be going in the slot. Can you get the Amplify damage or the Decrepify some other way? Um, you know, is it uh, is is it specifically the way that you need to kill things? Maybe uh, you're a barbarian and you just uh, swap to Berserk 
uh, when you're not whirlwinding, you know, you just, just berserk the uh, physically immune monsters down. Or uh, perhaps um, you have come up with another way of dealing with it. Like maybe you're a Zeal Paladin who does mainly physical damage, but, uh, but now you're using Dream Helmet and Dream Shield to give yourself a massive amount of lightning damage. Um, it really depends on how you have your character built. And, uh, and if you can build your character in a way that doesn't require Amplify damage, you can use something else. Um, I'm not saying don't use it. I'm not saying do use it. I'm just saying um, it is a tool that is very useful uh, for specific characters. And um, if you want to find this item, I'm pretty sure this item can drop from uh, Andorial in Hell Difficulty. Um, I'm not 100% sure with the amulets and rings because the treasure class and, and Q level are a little bit odd for them. Um, they kind of all share very similar drop percentages, um, although some of the higher level amulets will only drop from specific high level monsters. Um, this one in particular, I'm, uh, I don't know the exact uh, area. Let me do a little bit of research and I'll be right back. A little bit of research and uh, honestly it looks like to me that Helendaril is probably your best bet if you want to find this particular amulet. Um, it does have a chance to drop from quite a few other monsters like Nightmare Bay, a uh, Nightmare Diablo, uh, Nightmare Bale. Um, I mean, uh, quite a few monsters specifically can drop this, but as far as the uh, best probability, you're looking at uh, Hell at Dariel if you really want to uh, to try and find it. Um, anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, and uh, keep watching.